Hey, welcome back to another guitar lesson. Today we're going to learn how to play a new song that's just been released by Shawn Mendes. If you want to learn how to play more songs by Shawn Mendes, please go to my channel. I've done lots of Shawn Mendes tutorials and I've also created a playlist for that. So you can find the link to the playlist down in the description box below. And let's start. Let's see how to play this. We've got this riff in the beginning. After this riff, when he goes into the chorus, we go into the bar chords, or you can also play the chorus using the easy open chords. So I'm going to show you how to play it both ways. Sean plays it like this, using bar chords. The, the video is out on his Twitter page, so I saw it from over there. And for this song, you need a capo on the first fret. This is for the studio version. He doesn't use a capo when he's playing it live. In that video that's out there, he is not using a capo. We have, in the intro, we are playing two notes at a time. So here, these notes come from A minor. All right, so we are using the top string. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth fret. All right, and we're gonna use our middle finger for that. And again, the fifth fret on the third string as well. So one, two, three. This is the third string, which is the G string. So 5th fret on the 6th string and 5th fret on the 3rd string. Now I'm using my thumb and my index finger to play these two notes together. Like this. Right, so we do this. We play it 3 times, okay, we're gonna pluck 3 times. 1, 2, 3. And as soon as we pick it, what you're going to do is with your left hand, you're just going to lift your fingers a little to mute the sound. So instead of going like this, you go like this. So you see what I'm doing with my left hand? I'm just my lift, I'm just lifting my fingers after I play the, no the notes. Like this to mute the sound. Three times, all right? One, two, three. One, two, three. You come to the next shape which is on your G chord and over here what we're doing is we are having 6th 3rd fret on the top string and then again 4th fret on the 3rd string we're going to play these two notes together again and we're going to use the same technique that we used over there 1, 2, 3 and then for the last one which is your F you just want to slide back two frets on each string. So string six will be the first fret, and string three, which is your a G string, will be the third, will be the second fret. And we're going to use the same thing. Now let's play it from the beginning. So you see on the third shape. I'm playing it five times. One, two, three. One, two, three. The third, the third count will come back on your second shape, which is for a G chord. So it goes like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. We move back to this shape. Okay, so from the beginning. One, two, three. One. Then again, right? Practice this. Three, one, two, three. Again, you keep doing this until you go to the chorus of the song. Now there's another way to pick this. It's a little advanced, but it goes like this. You see now, if you carefully notice, it, the change is only on my right hand and on the index finger. I'm just using 
an extra pick on the third string you see with my index finger so what we're doing is playing both of them together and then playing the third string with the mute because if you remember we had lifted our fingers with the left hand and while they're lifted you just do another pick on the third string and that will be a mute pick so okay so it will go like this one and two and three and if we do it without the extra pick we would get this one two three and if we add the pick one and two and three so and is the extra one right and you just do the, apply the same technique to the rest of the shapes so you will it will sound like this okay so that's the basic um, technique that we that's going on over here you can either do the, the easy way or you can do this it will take a little practice but I'm sure that you will be able to master this if you keep practicing now let's just go into the chorus of the song the chorus will sound something like this the first way that I'm going to show you how to play is the bar chord way and if you don't want to learn this if you want to learn how to play it on open chords then you can skip over here all right so the chorus uh, the bar version sounds something like this I don't remember the lyrics so I'm just gonna da -da 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 -da. Second verse, I'll stop time for you. So we're using three chords A minor, G major, F major, and C major. Now we're not using the lower strings, we're just moving around the bass notes, the bass strings, the upper strings for now, okay? Because you want that. Um, rhythm and you want that um, bass sound so for a minor top string fifth fret one two three four five and then fifth string you got seventh fret and seventh fret on the fourth string as well with your ring and pinky fingers okay this is also known as a power chord and then you go back to your uh, G major which is your top string third fret and fifth fret over here fifth fret over here and fourth fret over here and you just sh and just shift this whole chord two frets back to get your F and then just for the C chord you just need third fret on the fifth string fifth fret and fifth fret on the fourth and third strings Right, that's another power chord so F and C now let's look at the strum pattern that's the main strum pattern over there now I'm again muting the sound over here for example the second down stroke I'm just lifting my fingers so you can't hear the sound All right down down the next down stroke mute right so it's down down up down up this down up is again on the mute and then down where you press the strings again so down down up down up down all right once again slowly So 
copy again down mute up mute mute and down again so so da 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 then go to the next chord da 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 we're just using the same technique the same strumming the same muting down down up down up down once again down down on the mute up down up on the mute and then down so you go down down up down up down so down down up down up down 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 up down up down go back down down up down up down and then go to the c chord down down up down up down you already know how to play these chords right i just told you if you don't know how to play the c chord please go back third fret fifth fret fifth fret again power chord okay so now we're gonna just play it one more time down down make sure you've got that muting technique right and if you still can't then please uh, rewind the video and if you even if you don't use the muting technique it's still fine it will sound like this and with the muting technique you got this For the whole chorus, again, better than he can out stop time free. You go back to the second verse, all right. Now, let me show you how to play the chorus using open chords. The reason why we call them open chords is because. We usually have one or two strings open. So, for example, for A minor, which we are playing like this, we didn't have any open notes over here. And over here, we do have an open string, which is the fifth string. It's open, right? Open means no frets. And then on the fourth string, second fret, second fret again, and first fret. Open again. So, A minor. The next chord that you need is G major. You play it like this or like this. So third fret on the top string, second fret on the fifth string, open, 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 third fret again. So another open chord. F major. So this is very similar like we played over here, just that you know we're using a bar, little bar over here, second first fret on the first two strings. second fret and third string third fret third fret on the fourth and fifth strings or you can play just still here so and the last chord is C major which we were playing over here so third fret on the fifth string second fret open and first fret and open again now, we're using the same strum pattern like I told you before. All right, so got A minor, down, down, up, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Here we don't necessarily have to use the muting technique, so I'm just not gonna use it. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Change it to G major, down, down, up, down, up, down. Change it to F major, down, down, up, down, up, down. Change it to C major, down, down, up, down, up, down. So, da 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 da da da.
go back to. So that is it for the chorus. Now you have almost learned how to play the whole song because after the first chorus, you just go back to the second verse and we already know what to do over there. Right, the whole thing. And then you just go to the second chorus again and you can again play it over here or over here. And then we come to the bridge of the song. Now for the bridge, I just like to play all the chords just strum down once. I just like to strum them just once. And it goes something like this. We're moving from A minor to G to C to F. And then A minor to G and then straight to F without the C. So it goes something like this. Give me a sign. Take my hand. We'll be fine. Then again. Promise I won't let you down straight to the F okay then repeat this thing one more time just know that you don't have to do the same and promise I'll never let you down then you go back to the chorus which is the final chorus of the song in the beginning of the chorus you can just play again all chords just once because now I can treat you later da, da, da. and then um, during the later part of the chorus, you can again start strumming. You know, the whole chorus. And that will be the end of the song. Now, before I leave, I just want to uh, mention that I have lots more Shawn Mendes guitar lessons, lessons on my channel, so please make sure you check them out. And I will see you guys next time. Till then, goodbye.